In this blended tutorial I will show you how I create clothes and animate them or pose them so that the body parts don't protrude through. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I'm going to assume you know how to use the Rigify in Blender and you know a bit about costumes and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into every single detail. I'm just going to show you how I would pose this dress which I've purposely made very tight. So this is about as tight as I can possibly get. Now most of the tutorials in um, on the internet and on YouTube go by on face weight paints and everything and I found that I can never get them to work. I've got my own way of doing it. Others may think it's the wrong way but I'll show you how I will edit this dress so that the limbs won't pass through. So what I've done is I've rigified the body. Now everything must be white painted so make sure all your items are white painted apart from your costume or costumes and this is very important this you don't white paint or include in the animation so if i just go let's have a look let's just uh go into solid view a minute now i'm going to select the body and you're looking for what you're going to do is in the physics properties you're going to put a collision on this and then select the dress and then select cloth now I'm not going to change any of these settings um, that's something you may choose depending on the cloth material you're using so this is a standard setup um, I'm not even going to bother with um, the collision so I'm just going to leave this as it is okay now I'm going to select the rig and then I'll go into pose mode then I'm going to hit A and I'm going to select I then I'm going to set keyframes and typically I would use location ro rotation and scale then the next this is the very important this bit make sure you set this add auto keyframe up here blue blue box with a white square now I'm going to just come along to frame 100 okay now deselect everything and the first problem I got is this as you can see here the dress is falling down so it's not a problem I forgot about that point what I'll do is just go back into object mode and press play now what you're looking to do is get yourself past where your new keyframes are going to be I'll let this run to the end okay so now if I go into pose mode and let's go back to frame 100 I can start posing this model so what I do here and I'm not going to go into any great details let's just go into this view here so there's so many different things you can do and I am not going to go into all the um, bits and pieces for um, using Rugify but typically let's say I wanted to I don't know rotate the hips everything's gone wrong <laughs> so and let's just snap these back to there I don't 
uh, let's change something else. I'm not going to go into great details here. Um, let's change the angle of the feet. Maybe go into X, straighten out the feet. That's fine. Uh, turn off X and knock down IK stretch and grab this up. So that's that should give us enough to show you what I do. Um, go back into object mode, back to beginning, and press play. And again, make sure you go past your keyframe points. Now you should be able to stop this now and use the button that takes you back to the previous keyframe. Key you can use your down arrow for this as well. And again, you can go back to pose mode. Let's change a few other things. Let's knock her body, I don't know, let's drag this forward. And again, back to object mode, back to the beginning. Get yourself past the keyframe position. And I don't know, let's turn this off. Oops, wrong one that one and there as you can see this rather tight dress has actually stayed in situ and that's it really you could remove the keyframes at the beginning if you want if you want to keep this as a pose but if this was an image you just use your image here or you just carry on animating do it at stages um, Make sure you go past your point that you've um, changed the shape or if you're going to animate a full um, sort of, you know, scene, it still works this way. And that's about it really. I don't think I can show you anything else. I've, I've left it as brief as I possibly could. Um, so hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.